and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be taking a look at the time series operators lag, lead and differences. And um, I've already opened starter and I've already put everything ready. And the data set we're going to be using today is simply the S&P 500 data set that you can find installed within your starter. So you don't have to download anything from anywhere. It is simply just readily available in your starter program. And there's a few things I've done first that I'm not going to go into detail here. You, they are, however, covered in other videos, how to set a business calendar and how to TS set your data. So I'm going to briefly just be doing it here because we have to prepare the data set in order to be able to do these time series operations. That is, we have to tell our, well, starter application that we are indeed having to deal with a time series data set. So first, I'm going to use this bcal command to set up business calendar because we have weekends and other business holidays. And I'm going to TS set according to this bcal date that I have now generated. Now, before we do these operations, let's very quickly look at how the data looks like. And as you can see here, we have daily data over here according to our bcal date that we have here, which is generated from the date. We're going to be just looking at the close time here. So the closing price, so to speak. So this is the closing index at the, uh, of the S&P 500 of the given days. We're going to be using this one as an example, but you could just do the same with high and low and open and whatnot. So what we're interested in doing is to generate lagged values. So the previous day's values, the lead, which is the forward value and the differences between two values. I'm going to be showing a couple of different ways to do the different things. So let's first start with lags. So if we are to, for instance, generate the lag of close, that is the previous value of close, we can do in two ways. First, we can use simply the, the square brackets. By using the square brackets, such as, well, this here, let me put it like this, then you can use the, command, the notation underscore n, which simply means the observation number minus one. So this here would simply just generate a variable called lag close, which is just the previous value of close. There you go. You see there's going to come one missing value because, of course, for the first value in the data set, there's no previous value available. As I said, there's going to be a second way, and that is my preferred way of doing it, which we can simply just call lag underscore close to for lack of imagination. And the other way of doing it is simply just use the L operator, so just L close. This should accomplish exactly the same as before. And the way we can simply look at that is simply just go and look at the data, look at the last two variables we have here, and see they are actually just identical, which of course was the goal here. And you can also just notice that the first value in lag close corresponds to the very first value in close also, which was on the previous day. Easy peasy. And you actually do not have to generate these variables directly like I did here. You can also use this directly, at least the L dot method notation, directly in your regression commands. What about leads or forwards? We can do the same here, just call it lead close. So now we're gonna generate the forward value. You may already have guessed it. We're simply just gonna say underscore n plus one. And then we can simply use gen lag underscore close two. Um, and now of course we're gonna call it lead not lag. Simply imagination here. And then of course we can do the not L dot, of course, because that's lag. Now we use F dot for forward. So forward, close. Using this here to generate exactly the same outcome for both instances we can see here. And now you may think about, yeah, but there's no missing value here. No, that's true, because now the missing value is at the end of the data set instead, because you're now forwarding the values instead. So that should come as no surprise. They're again, just identical. Finally, we're gonna have differences. And typically you use all these difference operators when you wanna, for instance, make a time series stationary. Different discussion about that in another video. But how to actually do it, you can simply just say gen. So we're gonna generate here. We're gonna call it diff close, simply for the difference of close in this case. And that can simply just be done as close, use the notation again, underscore n, minus and now the previous value of close close is underscore n minus one that would be the differences between these two here we of course need an equals two mark here this would generate a difference between two values 
we can of course also just make diff underscore close and call it two and use and now the D operator. And this will do exactly the same as you can see, that's a lot shorter and also a lot easier. And this will also generate exactly the same values over here, the differences between two observations. Now, finally, one thing that should maybe should have been set up here in lag and lead, you can of course extend this to multiple lags and multiple leads with exactly the same notation up here. So you can simply just replace the minus one with a minus two. So we say lag two underscore close, which will be just close these brackets here and n minus two. And we can also, of course, copy this here, call it lag two close two, and now it's gonna just be L two. You can, of course, also make three lags. So L three, four lags, L four, and you can do exactly the same here with lead. Of course, we've change the names because we already have something called this here. So we're gonna be put some twos in here. We put a plus two and here you just put an F2. That is all. So doing this here, you can simply just generalize it, get any number of lags you want, get any number of leads you want or forwards and generate differences. Well, that was all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this class here and I hope to see you back for another class here in Stefan's Classroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.